Hi, J.D. Wiesel, the college guy here with another question. Parents have asked me, when should we start the whole college planning process? And ideally, you want to start the college planning process when your student is a freshman or sophomore in high school. And while your student is a, a freshman or sophomore in high school, um, have your student do some career assessment to find out what type of career uh, that they are interested in and going into. And, and they may change their mind a little bit over the next coming years, but uh, we should have some base as to where we should start. So uh, first, as a, as a freshman or sophomore, start with what career it is that your student is interested in going into. Then from there, we can determine what major supports that career, okay? Then, then the next logical step is what colleges offer that particular major. Uh, that's where you should start. And then, and then as a sophomore in high school, you should discover what colleges um, offer that particular major and make a list of about maybe 15, maybe 20 colleges that your student has interest in, okay? Then over the course of your student's junior year in high school, have your student research all of those colleges and how they would do that is they would contact the college and say, I'm interested in your school, please send me out some information. Could be some uh, written material, uh, could be DVDs or, or videos or something of that nature, anything that they could send out. And then have your student also go to the, that school's website and look at that. Um, there's also a couple uh, websites that uh, rate colleges and that. I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't weigh it too much on that. The, the final step that, you're, that your junior in high school needs to do is actually physically go and visit those campuses. Okay, so we started out with about 15, maybe 20 colleges. Then over the course of your junior year, you collect that data and you start whittling out the ones that, that um, aren't uh, on your high priority list and then actually physically go and visit those campuses that you, that you have a high interest in going to and whittle that list down to eight colleges, six to eight, leaning more towards eight colleges that uh, your student is uh, going to actually apply to. Then over the course of your, your uh, junior, senior summer, around August or so is when the colleges release the application. Collect those applications and find out what parameters it is that that, that, that particular school needs. Um, do they want essays? How many? Do they want letters of recommendation? How many? What are the cutoff deadlines and all of that? And make sure that you get your college application in early and six to eight weeks is a good time frame as to when that application gets submitted, six to eight weeks before the deadline, because the majority of applications get submitted 72 hours before the deadline. And if that's the case, that's when the, if, if your student's application comes across their desk 72 hours uh, within that time frame, um, they're gonna be in a frantic panic mode uh, and they're not going to be able to spend as much time reviewing your student's application in that. So get your student's application in early.